And you know things are official when it's taken to Twitter. And uh, Marcus Stroman, he says he's ready to get to work and ready to get to work. He is Stro Show in the house. Marcus, thanks for taking time out to join Cliff and myself right here. Now, season nine, 31 years old. Where are the expectations at for you? I always have high expectations of myself, truly. I don't think anybody expects um, to do the things that I know I can do more than me. So I put in a ton of work daily in the off season throughout the year and it's kind of all accumulated over these past few years so I'm, I'm extremely confident it comes from the, the work that's been put in. So Cole I follow him on Instagram right? mm -hmm. so I've seen him a little bit I know he's on vacation a little bit he was, mm -hmm. you know you, you saw the, the rocks in the back you saw the water. Tropical. So Tropical. You was working a little bit earlier this year because of WBC? Yeah I mean not, to be honest not even man. No. I, I train I take one week off after season, I'm back in the gym so wow. I'm always ready no matter what as far as throwing as far as body and as far as my mind I feel like I'm always ready to rock. There's no situation where I'm ever like, oh, I need to speed up or I need to do more. Right. Um, I'm very in tune with my body, my mind. So at the end of the day, I know how to position myself to get ready for whatever it may be. No, I, don't, I don't have Instagram like Cliff, but I do follow you on Twitter and mm -hmm. I see a lot of the off-season workouts right off of PCH yeah. in Malibu <laughs> at Pepperdine. Pepperdine how, how'd that come yeah. to fruition? Yeah, so Pepperdine, uh, my baby boy's out in Pepperdine, my girl Shannon, um, they're in West Hollywood. So Malibu, I'm someone who likes to be removed and kind of out the mix. Yeah. Uh, I don't like cities. I, I'm truly work on myself and try to be always around water. And Malibu's like off the beaten path. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I'm the only one at Pepperdine. I train there by myself. I have my, my guy Stewart out there who's a trainer with the team. I throw with him every day and I get my work in. I don't like being around too many guys because I feel it becomes social hour. I just like to really focus and, and, and get my work in. You said year number nine it says? Year number nine. You haven't had a lot of change. We had some disruptions, but not changes, right? Mm -hmm. You have to deal with some adversity with COVID and so on and so forth. But now we got some change. They've, they've implemented some new rules. How do you sort of, you know, get off on the right foot of understanding spring? Like, yo, I got I to gotta make sure I understand these things so I don't get caught slipping. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm someone who, I feel like these rules truly aren't going to affect me personally. Right. I'm someone who works quick. Um, I'm someone who, so I, I'm not really worried about the, the pitch clock, the bigger bases. That's something that I'm not really right. going to have to deal with myself. So I'm someone who, I just try to put myself honestly in the best position physically and mentally. And then I just go out and perform. I don't, tr I truly do not worry about nothing else besides getting my body and my mind where it needs to be. And then everything kind of takes care of itself. How do you help your boys? Because I know they're going to need some help with it. Because right? <laughs> some, some guys don't work quick. Like Yeah, no, I, it's definitely going to be a huge adjustment period for, for those guys. And there's even times when, when personally I step off the mound, need a breath. Right. I'm really big into breathing. So I'm not the biggest, I, I'm not the biggest um, fan of, of the pitch clock rule. You know what I mean? I, right. I don't believe in telling Clayton Kershaw, Max Scherzer, that these guys have to throw a pitch in a certain amount of time right. because there's a whole preparation that people don't understand that goes into delivering a quality pitch. There's there's times when the game speeds up where I need to step off the mound and, and, and do a breathing exercise to put my mind and my body in a proper position. Now I'm probably not going to be able to get to those things. So you're always adjusting. And uh, I feel like baseball is a game of adjustments at the end of the day. All so day. you just got to be able to get through it. How about the adjustments that you've been able to make off of the field? A fairly new father now, so when yeah. it comes to being able to balance baseball and fatherhood, how have you been able to do that with King Kai, man? Yeah, Kai's a legend, man, so it's easy. <laughs> he's, so, he's so perfect, man. Um, I just feel like it adds to life. It just brings another element that's amazing. You know, it gives you that, that, that energy when you go home from the field. It gives you someone to look forward to. So I think having a, a perfect little baby boy just... Um, it's everything I could have imagined and more. Does it give you extra motivation? Like, hey, I want him to be able to see this footage back in the day when he gets up and he's old enough to know hey, his dad was a dog. I think that's so, I think more so for me, it's about creating creating generational wealth for him and, and, and whoever else, um, whatever kids I may have in the future. Um, I think that's important. I think that's why I put in the work is to make sure that they're good no matter what and they won't have to have to struggle. So y'all add some big pieces this offseason, man. Put yourself in position when it's a vision, right? I mean, when you think about certain teams, add guys, and you're going, well, you know, that I feel some holes. Mm -hmm. This team feels some some holes that's going to give you a chance to try and win this division. I love our team. I love our squad. Um, like you said, Dansby, Belly, Talion, come and mixing that with already the, the core group of guys that we had. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. because we're ready to win now, and you pair that with the, the young prospects that we have coming through the system. Baseball is such a sport where you really don't know what's going to happen year to year. Right. Predictions are whatever to me. Right. I just be laughing. All the people over here are like, <laughs> oh, this person is like, you really never know how it's going to play right. out. So I love the core group of guys that we have, the veteran presence as well. I feel like we're built, like I said, we're built to win and we're built to be able to endure adversity as well.
Marcus, you're a multifaceted dude, kind of like the trillion cut diamonds you have going on <laughs> in your teeth right there. But I'll uh, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when it comes to baseball and off the field, mm -hmm. there's so much more to you. And you have a kid's book. So give us yeah. the goods on that. Yeah. Tell us some more. Yeah, children's book just dropped with Simon and Schuster called The Grip, the first of a three book volume for eight to 12, 13 year olds, mm -hmm. loosely based upon my upbringing as a kid, divorced household, dealing with the, the mental adversities of, of a child, going back and forth from homes, dealing with the big pressures of games, schoolwork, just an outlet for kids to really understand that they can kind of get through anything and there's no moment that's too big that they can um, kind of get over. So, like I said, I'm already working on the second book. Mm -hmm which will be more uh, geared for kids dealing with social media, okay. which is be very, very, which is very present in today's society. Um, I need that book. Yeah, Lucky yeah. Man. <laughs> it's time, oh, man. It's time. It's, yeah. uh, it's, 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 a tough, it's a tough world we live in. So any way I could be an outlet and help, especially that, that younger group of people, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, and you talked yeah. about that, that generational wealth, uh, the fact that it's not just one book, it's a, a three-book series. That, that yep. really helps. There's going to be a lot of eyes on that. No, 100%. 100%. Like I said, I'm, I'm working on the second one right now. I got a bunch of things going off the field, man. I got my own wine label coming out this year. I got Shugo, which is my own cleat clothing brand, sneaker brand. You need to talk Just about that. Started yeah. my own music label. Uh -huh. I'm doing. I'm gonna do it all, man. You get one life, so I'm, okay. I'm gonna so get to it. Tell us some more about those kicks, though. Yeah, that's Shugo. Your dog's, is that your dog's name, Shugo? I don't have them on right now, but yeah, Shugo's okay. my dog's you name. Um, but yeah, I have pretty much. These aren't them. These are hidden. These are Solomon's. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but my own cleat, my own sneaker, my own clothing line that I've been working on for three to four years. Ever since I left Jordan Brand, I just realized there was there was no value in being part of those uh, those certain type of relationships. So I, I I branched off and did my own thing. Record label. Got my own record label. Yeah, just signed my first music artist, Sean Sloan. People ain't people ain't following this cat like they yeah. need. Yeah. Come on, man, wake up. <laughs> and, when, and when it comes to your 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 life's credo, your motto, height doesn't measure heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, you live that every single day. Yeah, that's my foundation. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's kind of that saying is what put me in the position I am today. I'm five seven on the shortest starting pitcher in the big leagues, and that was something I told myself when all these scouts analysts were were telling me I need to be six three to right. be a starter and all this. So. You can do anything in this world. Yeah. NL Central champions are bust. Is that the goal right now? I don't like to throw anything out there, okay. but we're going to talk about predictions. We gonna well, be, that, was, that was at the beginning of the interview. We've, we've gone a little bit down the we road. Gonna be right so, there. You know, we're going to be right circle there. Back. We're going to be right there in the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. well, we will see how it all shakes out. Marcus Stroman, it was a pleasure catching up with you. Thank you so much for the time and good Always, luck bro. this season, man. Always. Appreciate it. Appreciate Absolutely. you guys. Good stuff.